Crawford. So right now I'm actually recording this meeting. So what will happen is, is the way we do this, and today what I want to talk about um, is pretty much how I'm going to take attendance, uh, how the course is going to work. You know, let me know if you have any questions, because um, we do only have 50 minutes. So I want to make sure that you know, we do our time wisely. But, you know, essentially, uh, you know, we'll log in, you know, each week. I have 50 minute lecture. Um, everything gets recorded. Um, I want to show you Blackboard if you haven't looked at it yet. I actually have all of my lectures, all of my video illustrations, they're already downloaded for you in the learning modules. So even if you happen to miss a class, miss a lecture, uh, you will be able to view it later or also even work ahead on some things um, if you want to do that. But the way that I'll track attendance, right now I'm looking, we've got, we've got a, a full class, we've got 25 students, and right now I've got 20 students logged in. Mm -hmm. um, the way that I'm going to track attendance weekly is not by if you logged in to the live virtual lecture meeting, but as long as you're submitting your assignments. And for the first week, your attendance for the first week, I've got my Blackboard site up. I'm, sh I'm sharing that with you right now. And what I want to show you real quick is if you go to this link right there where it says Course Readiness Agreement, I'm going to click that link sometime this week. Make sure you've read through that and just watch it through and tells you, you know, you've read the syllabus, where you understand that you need to get all the course materials. You click that, a couple things happen. Number one, you get attendance recorded. And number two, you do get five bonus points. I give you a bonus situation to start you off for the first week. Click that link, you get bonus points and you get tracked as counted as attending. That way you don't get dropped from the course because they do this um, attendance tracker. If you don't get counted as attending, and I think after the week two, I believe you just get- Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we got a So make sure you do that. I'm on it right now, somehow on there. So, uh, and you know, we'll get this all worked out eventually. I'll get my, my control set. This first day I thought might be kind of crazy. So if any time I'm going through something and you have a question and if it gets too loud, I'll have to mute everybody, but just let me know. Um, but again, what'll happen is, is I will post all my recordings in Blackboard at some point today. Uh, I'll have a link up. This, hit, this is our Zoom meeting link, but I'll have another link set up that'll have all of our recordings. So eventually once we start to get into the content and working out problems, uh, you will be able to also go back and review those lectures at your leisure, at your time. So for, again, let me go back again. First of all, my, again, my name's David Jeriga. Uh, hopefully you all got the email I sent out. Uh, let me go back into Blackboard here. I always communicate uh, to the class through announcements and I sent a couple links out emails. The first one was, was last week about the Blackboard site. They made them all available on Friday. So review all these links. I'm going to go through a couple of them today just to make sure we all know what we need to be doing this week. And then of course the Zoom link, it's the same link all semester. It's a recurring meeting. So as long as you have this, this, this link, it'll always be on Blackboard. Just sign in at you know, 10 o'clock uh, Monday or Wednesday and you should be able to get in. And of course if there's any technology problems, which there probably will be, uh, just let me know and we'll see if we can't work that out. Um, but I just want to start off today by saying again, uh, this is applied accounting. Uh, you know, we meet twice a week. This is it's kind of like if we were on campus, you'd be coming to the campus for 50 minutes and then everything else is online. Now, all your assignments will be submitted through Connect. I've already got a few emails about students with, with they've ordered the book or there's a payment issue. And if you <clears throat> review the Connect, you can all register with Connect for free uh, for 14 days. And that gets you everything. That gets you the e-text, that gets you into all the assignments. So for the first two weeks of the course, if there's an issue with trying to, if you ordered the book or you're getting something and it takes a while to get that paid, you all have two weeks, essentially, once you register, they give you a free trial period. So make sure you take advantage of that so that you don't get behind and that you don't you know, miss out on any assignments. So let me run down here the links here. Um, I'm not sure how much in chapter one we're gonna get into today. We'll probably get into chapter one towards the last 10 to 15 minutes because I do wanna make sure that we're all off to a good start. I wanna make sure you know how to use Blackboard and make sure you know what you're looking at. 
So I'm off to the side. I'm looking at in Blackboard right now. I'm going to do a quick rundown of these links in terms of what you're looking at. And then, of course, you can go back and review these later. But of course, the first one is the home page. The default is this, guys. Um, when you first log into Blackboard for the first couple of weeks, you'll be directed to this home page. And on this home page, I've got my introduction. I've got pretty much a tutorial on how to use Blackboard and a couple other things which you can all read through. But that's under home page. The next thing I've got is the announcement link. And again, I will send these out weekly. Um, so just check your student emails all the time. Usually probably one per week you'll get. Um, but of course, since we're a live virtual lecture, if you're showing up to the live virtual lecture meetings, I'll also give you instructions there as well. Of course, I got the My Instructor link. You can review that. And then I want to talk real quick about this, a couple of things. So the syllabus, and of course, the class schedule, which is in the syllabus. Um, and I'll go over the syllabus in a moment. Make sure you, you review not only the syllabus, but also review the class schedule. It'll, it'll kind of give you a pace of the course and how that's going to work. So let me bring up real quick, since I'm on that, I'm just going to do these one at a time. Uh, I'm going to share the syllabus. Let me know if you cannot see that right now. Um, it is in Word document. Uh, let me know if you have any problems with opening any of these. Uh, you guys all do know that you get Microsoft Package Office 365 for free as a student. So if you don't have it on your computer, um, you can download it for free. And you know, if you have any questions about how to do that, um, just send me an email and I'll, I'll be glad to show you where to go to get those. But on the syllabus, of course, make sure you are in the correct section. Okay, this is section 401, which was designated for the Forest Park campus. Um, we don't meet on campus, it's all virtual. Make sure you're in the right CRN number. Um, notice my virtual hours. You know, I try to be available. If, if you need to meet with me, I can do personal Zoom meetings. If you have questions about stuff outside of our 50 minutes, uh, just email me, let me know, we can set something up. Uh, everything else, I'm just gonna page down, it's got all my contact. Um, I probably will be on the campus very limited. They don't want any faculty coming on unless you really have to be there this semester. So most of our stuff should take place virtually. Um, and you know, just let me know if you have any problems and I'll be glad to help. Now, of course you can read through the rest about the learning outcomes and I'll get to more of the parts of the course a little bit later. But I wanna get down to the grading part because that's the part that most people probably are interested in in terms of how you'll be evaluated. And typically I have four things. So I've got exams, quizzes, homework, and a project. And listen up, all of these will be submitted through Connect. And then what happens is, is once you submit these in Connect, whatever the due dates are, the Blackboard gradebook should be updated uh, pretty much once you take those because I've linked the gradebooks with Connect and Blackboard. And again, I'll show you that in a minute. But regarding the exams, you'll get three exams. Notice the exams are 60% of your grade. You'll get eight quizzes. You'll get eight homeworks. Notice the, the point values, those are weighted the same, 16% each of your overall grade. And then you'll be a project at some point in time in the semester, that's gonna be 8%. So I built the course around a total possible points of 500. So hopefully after today or tomorrow, uh, if you haven't submitted anything, as long as you submit that course readiness agreement, which is five bonus points, everybody starts off at 100% you know, day one, hopefully. Now on the quizzes, when you, log, when you get into Connect, I do give you two attempts on each quiz. The quizzes are all objective. So you take the quiz once, you, you, you don't get a 10 out of 10, you get an eight out of 10, you can take it again. And if you get a 10 out of 10, I count your best attempt. Just make sure you get those by the due dates and I'll show these in a moment. On the homeworks, similar. Only difference on the homeworks is, is because I, I view the homeworks as the learning aspect and not necessarily the assessments like the quizzes and the exams. So on the homeworks, I give you unlimited attempts. You just have to keep submitting those uh, until you get them right. And I've also actually illustrated all of the homework assignments for you. So if you're in a particular homework assignment and you get stuck, you can go into the learning module video and watch my video and I'm giving you some assistance there already. All right, and I'll show you that, where, where do you go to get that in a minute. All right, and then everything else, there's the project. Uh, again, I just talked about attendance this week. The way I'll track attendance um, is I'll check to see if you either submitted the course readiness agreement 
or if you start to submit your connect assignments and the connect assignments are always due by Sunday. So just kind of watch out for that. I don't want anybody to get dropped from the course, but if I don't see where you're submitting anything, which is how I track attendance, then you will get counted as absent. Now, the drop date for this course, I just giving you a heads up, not that I want you to drop, but it's November 11th. So just kind of keep that in mind. You have until November 11th, if there's any issues that come up and you can't complete the course, you can still drop the course with no grade. Now, at the end of the course syllabus is the class schedule. So this week is chapter one. It's a pretty light chapter. So that's why I'm spending a little bit of time talking about just the overall course and the makeup and the syllabus. Uh, chapter one is not long. I'll talk mostly on chapter one on Wednesday. I'll probably talk a little bit today on it if we have a little bit of time. But notice I have the whole schedule set up. First week is chapter one. And then you get to chapter two is August 31st through the 13th. Notice, um, even though we're live virtual lecture, I will still follow the holidays that the college has in place. Like for example, Labor Day, we will not have any lecture, live virtual lecture on Labor Day. Um, that's a holiday. So that's why the chapter two, that's why the date looks like it's kind of extended out to the 13th of September. It's primarily because of that Labor Day. But you'll notice that I don't rush this course. I take my time with it. I wanna make sure you have a good understanding of accounting. Um, so we take our time. Notice our first exam isn't till the end of September, first part of October. Because we're really spending a good part of the first of the semester getting into how to analyze transactions. I'll get you into how you use a T account and how you look at a business in terms of the accounting way. So if you watch the schedule, I don't rush it. We take our time with it. Um, we spend a lot of time on adjusting entries, which you know, it's, it, we'll get into that later, but there's some stuff on accrual accounting concepts. The goal is, is to get you to know how to prepare the financial statements. But if you look at the schedule, you can see the pace of it. Uh, the course does end, for us, it's gonna end by Friday, December 18th. Um, and again, once we get into a routine, you'll pretty much know how to take the exams and you'll know what to expect. But you know, the first couple of weeks, you know, if you have questions, I, I assume there probably will be in terms of how to submit stuff, just you know, let me know. But again, all this is in the syllabus. You should all print this out, or you don't have to print it out, but make sure you reviewed it. And if there's something that you just don't understand, let me know. And again, let me go back. My email is all over the place, but again, here's my email. Uh, I'm literally checking emails up through midnight. So don't, you know, if you, if you send me an email at 11.30, don't be surprised if you get a reply in five minutes because I'm always checking emails. Um, so I want to make sure I'm responsive to your needs and make sure I help you out. I don't want to like to leave you hanging. All right, so that's the syllabus. Now let me go back. Uh, here we go. All right, so back in Blackboard, that's all under syllabus class schedule. Guys, here's your textbook information. There's your ISBN uh, questions. You don't have to buy this from the college. You can, you can go directly to McGraw-Hill and get it uh, once you do get it. Um, but you should have a connect access with the ebook. That's, that's all I'm requiring. Um, and so this is your textbook price from the bookstore. Um, I'm sure that the McGraw-Hill price might be a little bit different, but again, you guys, can research the best place to buy it. You don't have to buy it from us, but just make sure you get this version of it. It's the fifth edition of the Haddock. All right. Now, the way I set up the Blackboard is, again, you'll notice off to the side here, I've got a Connect website, or sorry, let me go back, Connect registration instructions right here. Open up that PDF that pretty much gives you the link for our course. You can sign up for free, or if you got the code, you can enter that. But this is the code, this is the course you want. I got another link here that takes you right to the McGraw-Hill website. Just click that, and that's an easy way to get in. Now, once you're in, what I did is once I paired up the course, I'm going to page down here, you'll see a link in Blackboard. It's called Connect Assignments. If you don't want to log in separately, you can click this Connect Assignments, which I'll do right now, and it'll have listed every single assignment once it opens. Everybody's on Blackboard today, so sometimes if you get a lot of buffering today, it's probably not you, it's just the server. Um, but you know, that's because everybody's on Blackboard Hello? right now. But if I click this connect assignment, you can see my computer right now is buffering, it's not letting me in, but let me take a moment, hopefully it'll get there. That's where you can go to literally uh, just connect. You can access all of your homework and quiz assignments just by clicking this one link right here, where it's called connect assignments. And it's probably trying to, to link up with McGraw-Hill right now, but that's where you want to go 
if you get confused about what you want to do. This learning module link right here, let me go there since the other one's still buffering. Is everybody back? Good, good. I, can, I, uh, I think that was my internet, guys. I apologize. Can everybody so, see me now? That's okay. okay. Yeah, you're good. Like we're back in. I apologize about that. <laughs> you know, I'm not surprised that it's going to happen. But let me go back to my screen share. And what I was saying was, I get to this, I'm, where I'm at right now, let me get to my arrow so I can show you visually where we're at. All right, guys, if you go to this, Good morning. it says connect assignments. It says connect assignments. Let me try clicking that now and see if I can get there. Okay, right there. Awesome. Guys, so I paired up connect with Blackboard. So if you go to that connect assignments, you can see all of your homework assignments, chapter one, homework, chapter one. They're all out there. If you click a link, it'll take you right in the assignment. Now, you might see say, uh, hold on, let me, let me check something real quick. I'm going to mute everybody because I couldn't hear. So hopefully that doesn't distract some people. And again, it, you can always unmute yourself real quick. I just want to make sure that you can hear me in case there's some background noise. But you'll notice that I've got, uh, they call them smart book videos. Guys, these are optional. You don't have to view those, but I put those out there. There's no point value, but that's just for the learning aspect of it. So if you come across those and you're wondering what they are, those are the textbook videos that they created. All right. Which again, I'm trying to give you all the resources to make you know, make this course you know successful for you. But when I go to learning modules, I'm gonna go to the learning modules link right here. This is where I have all of my recordings. So this is where you want to go for for chapter one, for example. Let me click chapter one. I have everything routed through YouTube. So all you have to do is when you see any of my videos, just click on the play button, and you should be okay. Like the chapter one lecture, which I'll talk a little bit about today and a little about a little bit on Wednesday, uh, is already already been recorded for you in some format. <laughs> um, I will give that to you again live virtual. But again, the good thing is, is if you've missed a course, missed a class, you can always go in here and play this, or also you can play uh, the recorded lecture I have in here for you in in Zoom. But notice everything is here. I even have a chapter one handout, which I'm not going to get to today. We'll get to this on uh, Wednesday. You might want to print this handout or at least try to answer some of the questions to it. Um, and you notice everything else, you just click a link and it's pretty self-explanatory. It'll take you right to it. And so again, this is chapter one. And so let me go back. So if you click like chapter two is where we start to get into a lot more of the content of the course. If I click my chapter two, you'll notice, again, I always start the, the module with the overview of the chapter, agenda items, learning objectives, and then again, all my lecture videos, and then in chapter two, I've got a textbook illustration. That's when we're gonna get into the accounting equation. I've got homework illustrations. And just kind of pay attention guys, these homework illustrations are the same homeworks that you will be submitting and connect. And so the goal is, is not just to give you the answers. I'm trying to explain how to work them. Um, this might be a resource to use if you're in connect and you get stuck on something, you can come back here and play my homework illustration and you'll see how I'm trying to essentially guide you through how to work the problems, just like if we were in class. All right. Now, I don't do that for the quizzes because the quizzes is, to me, the assessment part to make sure you got it. But literally, all your homework you know, answers are actually in this. But the goal isn't just for you to come here and just, okay, here's the answers and plug them in and get your 10 points. The goal is to make sure you learn it because, you know, at some point in time, uh, you'll have to take the exams and the quizzes and be able to pass those. So this is just some resources I'm giving you to assist you along the way. Since of course I can't, I can't, you know, be in your living room 24 seven, you can with this, you can play these at any time and you can get to them. So all my learning modules, again, let me go back, all these learning modules. Again, I've got one for every chapter. You just click a link. I've got everything recorded. The only one is in chapter one. I don't have any, the homework illustration. I don't have a homework illustration for chapter one only because the homework is simply where you're answering questions that are similar, very similar to this handout. So hopefully by Wednesday, after we finish the Wednesday lecture, uh, you know, at that point, you can go in and you shouldn't have any problems with the chapter one homework, hopefully, and of course, take the chapter one quiz there. All right, so learning modules is what you want to go through a lot. And then of course, if you want extra, again, just go back to the connect assignments, click on a smart book video. It's, it's going to be a different voice and a different person but there are more videos there. It's, it's free. It's, it's part of your package. 
Uh, those again are optional, but you can play those uh, if you need some extra help as well. All right, now everything else again, again, you've got your connect registration, very important this week, make sure you get registered. I noticed I have about like, I think it's like eight or nine people already registered. So not everybody is in there just yet. So don't panic, you're still okay. Chapter one, or the week one is not a super busy week. So if you don't get in until today or tomorrow, you're, you're fine. But just make sure you do get in. Uh, here's the live virtual lecture link, which if you're in here right now, you've already gotten it. I will also send it out in the announcement link there as well. And I believe, oh, then everything else, you can always check your grades. Again, our grade, your grade book in Blackboard is paired up with Connect. So once you've submitted your assignments in Connect, your Blackboard gradebook should be updated. So you don't have to worry about any delays. And of course, if there is a problem and you feel like uh, you were cheated out of something or your points aren't being recorded correctly, just email me, I'll, I'll check into it and see what's going on. So again, going back real quick before we get started. So again, uh, my instructor information, again, you go to my, my instructor, uh, you've got my email, that's the way you wanna contact me. Yeah, that's the best way. Don't call my office number simply because uh, you know I don't check that I'm not on campus and I don't have it linked to my my smartphone. So I would just say, oh, and I have a I do have a password to get into it, but it seems like every time I call in, it never works. So email me, and of course, if you need to meet individually, just like if you were coming to an office hour meeting, I can also meet individually with any of you in Zoom, and I just I have a personal meeting uh, like a, a an office hour link I can send you. But I'm just doing that based on, on need. If you need it, just let me know and I, we can set something up. Okay, so other than that, that's Blackboard. Make sure you re reviewed it, uh, review the syllabus, get registered with Connect. Um, and again, just make sure you know, you, know, you, you log in Monday, Wednesday, uh, we go 10 to 1050. Uh, this week is just kind of pretty much an overview of accounting. Uh, it's not going to be heavy, but I'm going to talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing this semester. I want to talk about, uh, you know, uh, what, what to expect. Uh, but chapter two is really going to be the chapter we start to get into some of the meat of the course where we get into the, the foundation of accounting equation and how to start to do some analysis. Um, and that'll most likely take place starting next week, but I may do a little bit on Wednesday, uh, depending on uh, where you guys are at. Now, another thing I'm going to say about this 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 setup because <clears throat> initially this class was set up as a hybrid and even when we were meeting on campus for 50 minutes this is like when we were in class it's very difficult in terms of our time to have you guys group up because usually you, you know you like to do group work and so forth so i don't tend to do a lot of group work with this format class simply because by the time I try to show you how to work the stuff, and by the time I get any feedback, um, our 50 minutes is up. And I don't wanna spend 50 minutes trying to make sure everybody's in the right chat room. So the way I'll do it is I'll pr primarily do a lot of the illustrations, but I do want you to, you can ask questions, you can stop me. If you have a question, you know, send me a chat, I can look it up, I can stop, I can go back and work stuff, um, just let me know. It'll be to your benefit, you know, once we do get going, and we're on concept, it'll be to your benefit to do as much prep work outside of our meetings as possible. That way, when we get to a meeting and you do have a question, you've already looked at something, it'll be much quicker and more efficient for me to help you, which will also help the others. And, you know, just as a reminder, um, you know, I'm recording all of this. And so, you know, once our meetings are over, at, at, and I'll try to be careful for your time, because I know a lot of you might have other live virtual lecture classes at, at 11, and so I don't want to keep you after 1050, um, is I will record the meeting, and then I'll link it up again through YouTube, and I'll set it up in Blackboard, so you can always go back and watch all the recordings, again, even if you happen to miss a recording. So I like to look at this as kind of like, a, they call it synchronous and asynchronous learning, where I give you live lecture, you've got recorded lectures, uh, and the benefit is, is you will not be penalized if you miss a lecture at all. As long as you're submitting your assignments, you'll be okay with me. Um, I'm here to help as much as I can. I know this is crazy. Um, I did a little bit of this live virtual lecture in March and April for my spring courses. Um, and it was okay. A lot of, because a lot of the, the format of the class, the students are pretty much already knew the setup. Um, it worked okay. 
it's not as I'll just say it. I don't care what they say. It's not as good as in person, but it is definitely better better than nothing because you do have some ways you can you can contact me and ask questions. And particularly you know, because of our 50 minute time period is so quick, I would encourage you if, if you're not seeing you know, it once we get going is if you really need some individual help and you're just stuck and you just want to ask me a question that you don't want to ask during our meeting, just send me an email and I can set you up with a, a personal meeting link with my Zoom and we can always set up a time. Uh, even if it's not listed on my virtual hours, we can try to work out a time where I can set it up and you know, give you some individual one-on-one -on -one help if you need that, okay. All right, so other than that, that's what I wanted to talk about in terms of just the, the, the setup of the course. Um, and again, if there's issues with, remember with Connect, you, you do have 14 days. There's a free trial period in which you can access it. So just make sure you, you get registered. And I think I'm still following the class schedule. So by Sunday, by the end of this week, uh, the chapter one homework and chapter one uh, quiz assignments, I'll go back to this, you'll note that they are still due by August 30th, right there. So the due dates are listed right there as well. And they're not long. So, I mean, it, it probably won't even take you, you know, once we've done the work, they probably will not even take you more than 30 minutes to complete both of these. But just make sure you get these in by August 30th. And then of course, once we get into chapter two, you'll see those due dates come up. And if there's ever anything, I'm pretty flexible. If, if something happens and you guys just are not getting the concepts, I can always adjust the due dates. I don't think with chapter one, I will have to do that. But you know, eventually once we get down the road, if something's going on and you guys just aren't getting a concept, I don't believe that I should just give you a quiz just, just to give it. I mean, at some point in time, we got to get to the material, but notice, I mean, we've got 16 weeks. It's a lot of time. And we cover eight chapters really heavily. There's a lot of stuff. And so we have a lot of time to, to make sure we guide you through this, that we don't just rush this because, you know, my goal, hopefully, um, and I don't know if you know what you want to do with your careers, but I'm definitely trying to get you guys interested in accounting. Um, I'm hoping that it's a good career to go into. Uh, there's a lot of jobs out there that the field's changing constantly with this new technology. But I'm hoping that you'll not only take this class, but then you'll also explore more by taking financial accounting. And I know some of you will not, but the goal is I wanna make sure you understand that accounting isn't just about math. It is not just about you know adding and crunching numbers. It's very analytical. Uh, it's changing, there's a lot of technology. Um, and there's a lot of jobs out there. There's companies always need accounting, pe people who have that knowledge and how it works. So even though the field is changing, it's changing in my opinion to actually add more different types of jobs. Uh, the old bookkeeping type of jobs where you just sit down and do number crunching and just spit out debits and credits, all that stuff is automated these days. Um, so the field is definitely different, but you still need to understand it. And this class hopefully will give you a good understanding of the overview of accounting and the different types of opportunities. I have a couple connections here in St. Louis. Uh, later on, if you, know, if you guys continue into accounting and you're interested, you can always come back and email me. Um, there's a couple agencies here in town. I know they're looking for intern, internships uh, and so forth. So you know that's down the road, <clears throat> but there's a lot of opportunities in accounting and it's a, it's a good career to go into. All right. so. Having said that, uh, hopefully you know what you need to be doing this week. You know, play all my videos back to the home base, play my intro video, uh, play how to register with Connect, and then please let me know. I'm sorry, I got my phone. Ringing. Please let me know if you do have uh, any questions about anything. All right, so having said that, I'm gonna bring up uh, the PowerPoint. Oh, one more thing. Uh, my lectures have been recorded probably a couple semesters ago. Sometimes they, I use these textbook uh, PowerPoints. Sometimes they change the PowerPoints a little bit. If you want to print a copy of the PowerPoint, go to, uh, I've got my PowerPoint link right here in Blackboard. You can open up this zip folder and you can print all the PowerPoints if, if that helps you for taking notes. Uh, I, I also have lecture notes out here if you wanna print those, if that helps you as well. But honestly, the way most of you will probably do well in this class and you'll do most of your learning is when you start to submit the homeworks. That's when you learn the stuff. The first chapter is a little bit of reading, so it's, it's very abstract, but I think once we get into chapter two, you'll see more of the numbers come out and we'll do some calculations and so forth and I'll show you how it all works out. All right, so let me show you my PowerPoint real quick. 
And I know I've got about 20 minutes, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, delay that. Hold on, let me change something. Can you guys all see my PowerPoint? Let me yes. Understand. Okay. Let me change something on my setting. Hold on just a second. All right. So, again, if you can't see it, I guess probably the better question is if, if you can't see it or if you're having an issue, just, you know, you can just speak up. Um, I think you have the ability to, you all have the ability to unmute your mics. So if you have a question, you can just stop me if something's sounding weird. And, you know, the way I'll try to do this, and I'll, I'll, I'll play with the controls a little bit in Zoom and, and probably make it a little bit better by Wednesday even. But, you know, if there's ever, you know, an issue or something, uh, if I can't hear, I may need to mute everybody. But just, you know, I try to give you that option where if you want to chime in and say, hey, look, I got a question about this, I'll stop right there on this, let me know, and I'll be glad to go over it. But the first couple of things, when you open up, when you view this lecture, and this is what my video lecture has been recorded on, is we start off by talking about these different things about defining accounting and what, and discussing the career opportunities and the users. I will probably get to today at least the first two parts. Let me get my annotation on, hold on just a second. I will probably get to probably where you define accounting and discuss the careers. Hold on, let me get back there. Somehow it's not, it's, are we back now? I think somehow it wasn't, it wasn't sharing. All right, so I will probably get to at least talking about the definition, but I wanna get into the careers today in about 15 minutes, just to talk a little bit about what you can do in accounting. Um, getting into the, the nuts and bolts, we'll do more of that on, on uh, Wednesday. And before we leave today, I just I will point out there is a handout in the chapter one learning module that I wanna make sure you guys have looked at by Wednesday. Okay, because I will go over that on Wednesday and that's also will help you when you get to your homework. But when we get to the basics of accounting, we talk about this definition of accounting and I'm just gonna pull up the slide that says what is accounting. First of all, you don't have to worry about memorizing any of this stuff, all right? Excuse me? We, yes. Um, where is the extra credit handout that you said locate on Blackboard at? Okay, hold on a second. Let me go back. Let me go back. Uh, all right, so if you go back, first of all, it's, it's not, a, the, the extra credit is it's the, it's the course readiness agreement. So if, if you click the course uh, readiness agreement, that's where you get the five bonus points. But the handout, let me show you, I'm glad you asked, the handout will be right here. If you go to chapter one module and you should see a chapter one handout right there, that's the one I would normally work with my in-class students. Print that out or at least pull it up on your computer. See if you can go through some of those questions on or before Wednesday. Because what I'll do is, is I'm going to talk a little bit about a lot of that stuff on when, the first part of Wednesday's class, and I'll probably wrap up the Wednesday class by looking at that handout with you guys. So if you at least looked at it ahead of time, and you can take some notes on it, and then that'll be very similar to what you have to do in your homework on Connect as well. Okay. Does that help? Thank you. Okay, cool. All right. So let me go back. All right. So, so the first thing they always get into in any accounting class, if you've never taken an accounting class, they always talk about the, you know, what's the you know, definition of accounting. And the only thing I'm gonna point out on this, it's when they talk about it, the process by which financial information about a business, they talk about classifying, recording, summarizing, interpreting. We're gonna be doing all that, but I wanna focus just on this one word, it's communicating, okay? That's what accounting does. Accounting communicates what's going on in business. All right, and our goal in this class is to get to these things called financial statements. Financial statements is how all this stuff is gonna be is leading up to. The interpretation part of it, you can't really interpret it until you've got the final product, right? So you can't really interpret the financial statement until you've got it. So we're gonna work on how to prepare these financial statements and who we're gonna communicate that to. And most of you, believe it or not, have probably already had some encounter with accounting in, in some form or another. If you have a credit card, if you have a bank account, anytime you apply for anything, they always ask you these questions, right? They want to know your social security number. They might want to know what your income is. They're looking at stuff that eventually will show you is on financial statements, but 
ultimately what they're doing is they're assessing you, they're assessing risk, which is kind of what we do in accounting is, is when we get to these financial statements, users will use those to interpret and to assess information about a business or an entity. Okay, now here's the thing, and I said this earlier, if you're paying attention to it, a lot of this stuff, the, the, the recording, the summarizing guys, a lot of this stuff because of artificial intelligence, you know, AI, a lot of this stuff over the last five to 10 years has been automated. So there's not a real big need to hire an individual to come in and actually do a lot of the day-to-day the, the -day stuff that we used to do. There's a lot more jobs in accounting where we're talking about the concept of understanding how all this is put together, um, which you have to know. But in terms of recording stuff, if a computer can do it, that's gonna save a business money and they're just gonna buy a computer program and let it go. But you still have to have somebody understanding how it works together because you know there's always mistakes, there's always errors, there's always issues, you gotta be able to fix that kind of stuff. So you still have to have the knowledge. So get that down. So, and then when I talk about the financial statements, they talk about these are periodic reports, they talk about a firm's financial position or an entity's financial position, um, that's going to be our end goal at the end of the semester is to be able to prepare these. And we'll prepare them along the way. We'll do a couple in chapter two and three. They like to do bits and pieces of them. We're going to do three of them. We'll do what they call an income statement, an equity statement, and a balance sheet. You will know those very well. So we're, we're going to do the three. There's actually five financial statements, but we're going to only do three of the big ones based on our scope of this course. Okay. Now, in terms of uh, careers, okay. I just talked about this. So you talk about bookkeeping and accounting clerks, and I'm gonna be very honest with all of you, these jobs are going away. There's not a lot of need for bookkeepers and clerks, all right? There's more need for analysts, people who can analyze, interpret. You still have to understand the basics. You need, I would say Excel. If you don't know Excel, I say that's a good course to take. Just about every business uses Excel. In accounting, you, know, you have to know how to use it. So you gotta have some computer skills in accounting. But the big thing is, and I think this is actually a good thing because I don't think anybody wants to just sit around and doing a debit and a credit all day. That's pretty, it's pretty boring. Um, I was involved in a little bit of that in the 90s, but back, back when I first graduated, I got a job uh, right out of college. And I did some of that. And eventually that was just, you're learning the ropes, but, uh, I, I can't see anybody wanting to just sit in front of a computer and just, just sign your name every five seconds. You know, it's, it's just so much, if, if it's repetitive, any sort of repetitive task and a computer can take care of it, those jobs are not really there anymore. All right, so you still have a lot of jobs in accounting though. So what's happened is this technology has opened up a lot of other avenues, many more jobs that, that, that we didn't used to have that we now have. And so I'm just kind of telling you that. So a lot of you have something to think about if you're thinking about if, I, if, you're, if you have your heart set on being, well, I just want to be a clerk. Um, I, I mean, I'll tell you honest, I, I wouldn't say that, that that's going to be a long standing career just because of the way technology has essentially changed the field. All right. Now, in terms of just overall areas, and I'll talk a little bit about right now salaries in terms of what you can go into, you've got what they call public accounting, managerial accounting, and governmental. And of course, this is just how a textbook approaches this. They say three areas. There's quite often a little bit of overlap in a lot of these. Um, so, you know, you talk about public accounting, that's kind of like your tax people, people who do auditing. You audit big companies, you look at their financial statements. Um, that's more for external reporting. The managerial accounting is more internal type of accounting. You do, you do reports within the organization. So all of the financial statements that we are going to look at, uh, uh, we'll look at them internally to make decisions. You've got what they call governmental accounting, which is another aspect you have, you know, that you can still have tax issues in governmental. You could have IRS, you could work for non, non for profit. Uh, you could even work for our school, you know, the St. Louis Community College. If you were doing the accounting work at St. Louis Community College, that would actually fall under the category of governmental. And believe it or not, each one of these three areas has different types of, of, of degree requirements um, and so forth. And I'll just tell you guys right away that your best bet in accounting is to don't stop with the two-year degree. 
two-year degree is a good start. It, it, it gets you into it. Um, your goal should be minimum at least four-year degree, if not five. Because in terms of job, being able to get a job and compete for jobs. So you get your two-year degree. You can still get on at companies. They're, they're still hiring. There's still, they're still companies looking for people to come in and do some of that entry-level work. But eventually what happens if you want to you advance and look for a long career and make a lot of money is you want to get a bachelor's and a master's and also get that CPA. And some of you may probably even know what a CPA is. CPA means certified public accountant, CPA. It carries a lot of weight, not just in accounting, but also in the business world. It's something that I would, I would say if you're going into accounting, I would suggest you want to get it. It's going to pay you a lot of money later on. It's going to allow you to get a lot more jobs. Um, and that's, I think the name of the game is, is that's why you're here. You're not here just because you, you love taking classes. I think you're here because you want to get a job. You want to make some money. Um, that's how I was. So, you know, I'm just talking the end of the road, CPA. I'm just promoting, I'm just saying you, you have to get, I'm saying the CPA is something you can keep your sights on. Guys, I've had several of my former students get it. There's some of them are still in the St. Louis area. They're doing very well. They're, they're working at various organizations across St. Louis and they've done very well for themselves. Um, and they're students just like yourself that were sitting in my classroom and they followed through. They, they took all the courses. They ended up going to like either UMSL or, you know, SLU or Webster or whatever. They went to all the local schools and they ended up getting their CPA and they all have really good careers right now. So that could be you if you're interested in it. And again, I'm not gonna talk about all the details with the CPA exam and how to get that CPA. I'm just saying at the end of the road, at the end of the road, you wanna get that. Now, I had something pulled up. Let me see if I'm still in there. I'm just gonna change my screen for a quick second to see if I can find it. I was in your textbook. Let me see if that's it. Nope, that's not it. Let me change that. Let me go back. I had a website pull of it. it. May have it may have when my internet went down. I think it might have it might have taken me out of it. Let me check something real quick. I was actually into my textbook and let me let me get on there real quick just for the heck of it. Hold on just a second. Let me get back to McGraw Hill. Let's see if I can open that up. I was in your textbook and yeah, just give me a quick moment that when I when, when my internet net went out, uh, it logged me out of McGraw Hill. So let me get back. There was something I wanted to show you guys in the textbook when you get there. All right, that's it. All right, so let me do a new share to see if I can get that up. Can you guys see that? It should say accounting careers. Yes. Can you guys see that? Okay, I just wanna make sure I got, I had several windows open. Guys, this is in your textbook. And you'll notice they talk about some of these occupations and so forth. And I'm just trying to point this out. You'll notice they have entry level education and notice for like the bookkeeping and accounting clerks, it's either some college or no degree or you know two year degree. But you'll notice predominantly a lot of these jobs out there, notice they require a minimum of a bachelor's degree. So I'm just telling you, think long-term. Don't, don't just think short-term, think long-term that eventually uh, when you're at the end of your rope and you're, you're done with your degree, you wanna make sure you have a job and not just for now, but for later as well. And so my suggestion would be, you know, think in terms of bachelor, think in terms of trying to get internships, uh, along the way. Uh, there's a lot of accounting professors at St. Louis Community College. I'm one of them. Use me as a resource, as a reference. If you have questions about how to go about doing that, or you have some questions just about how to get into something, just email me. I can work with you on that. 
so I'm just telling you know putting that out there right now because you know my job here isn't just to show you how great accounting is. I think at the end of the rope, at the end of the day, is you want to be able to get a job and you want a good career in it. And there's a lot of jobs out there in accounting. There's a lot of companies looking for people. All right. So I think I got four minutes left. Let me go back. I think my PowerPoint, did my PowerPoint go? Hold on just a second. I think it did. So let me change something here. All right, there it is. All right, so last thing, last couple of minutes on this, <clears throat> just to kind of wrap this up today. And I know I was trying to be fast because I wanted to get a lot of stuff in and I wanted to talk about um, the Blackboard site because I want to make sure that this week you're all off, off to a good start. Is what you should be doing this week and also for Wednesday is just, you know, get the PowerPoint, you know, watch my lecture, watch my lecture in the chapter one module uh, make sure you get registered with Connect. Do that today if you haven't done it yet. If, if you're waiting to pay for it, remember, once you register, 14 days. The, 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 the clock starts ticking today if you start registered today. You get 14 days free. Um, review this. Review this handout uh, in Blackboard. Let me go back to it. Let me find my screen just a second. I got way too many windows open here. All right, here it is, all right. So this handout, uh, again, that's into the chapter one module. Try to work that out, try to answer some of those questions. Even though I haven't talked, now guys, some of, some of the stuff I haven't even talked about. But I will talk about a lot of this stuff on Wednesday. But I think if you've tried to use this as kind of like an outline of chapter one, this handout, and you know, look at some of these questions, I'm going to go over this stuff with you again on Wednesday. All the stuff should be, or most of it should be in my chapter one lecture, which you should try to review by Wednesday. Take you, probably take you half an hour. It won't take you too long. And then on Wednesday, I'll try to go over some of these questions. I'll finish off the rest of the PowerPoint and then uh, see if you guys have any questions on that and hopefully it gets you off to a good start for the first week. Okay, I know 50 minutes is very fast, but you know, when we set these schedules up at the beginning, or you know, we actually created the schedule last spring, it's that the goal was if you were on campus, you would be taking like a nine o'clock, you'd then have a 10 o'clock, and then you'd have an 11 o'clock on the Forest Park campus. And so when they switched everything to live virtual lecture, most of those uh, time formats stayed the same. So I know some of you may actually have an 11 o'clock uh, live virtual lecture, so I'm not gonna keep you over. So I gotta watch my time very, very co closely and make sure that I don't, that, that I get in all the necessary stuff. And I wanna make sure that you get something that eventually, uh, if you have to go back and play the recording or play the lecture, it'll actually be helpful. Today is it's kind of like you know day one, and a lot of the stuff is already in my, uh, my intro video, but I want to again make sure since I'm just meeting a lot of you, I want to make sure that you're all off into all off to a right, you know, a good start with the course. Uh, remember, I will track attendance by looking to see if you've submitted the course readiness agreement. And since that's free, that's in Blackboard, make sure you all go in there and submit that course readiness agreement and you got your attendance for the week. That's basically good for week one. But uh, and again on Wednesday, what'll happen is I'll start again. That's the way, the way the format will be is I'll start and then uh, I'll jump right into the PowerPoint a little bit and I'll most likely get right to this handout and I'll go through all this. And I might even bring up some of the homework and connect as well, just to show you some of the questions that you have to answer. Okay, all right, guys, I am at 1050. Did anybody have any quick questions before I wrap this up? Yeah, the, um. What you have up now, that is due Wednesday or we're going over it on Tuesday? I'm, I'm gonna go, over. yeah. None of this stuff, this stuff right here is all practice. You do not have to submit any of this for, for assignment for grades. This is all practice. The only, okay. thing that, the only thing that'll be graded, all your graded assignments will be through Connect. Okay? That's a, I mean, that's a good, really good question. Thank you. Does anybody else have anything they wanna add real quick? I know I'm at 10.50. Yes. I mean, go ahead. 
this sheet that you are showing now, is there any way um, I can print that up and just work on it until Wednesday? You bet. Maybe. It, it's on, it's a Word document. Um, if, if you can't get it to print Word, I will also, after this meeting, I will save it as a PDF file too. So if you don't have the Word just yet, you should be able to print it as PDF as well. Okay, would it be in one of the, the learning modules? Yep, I'm gonna do, in fact, right after this is over, I'm gonna go back. It's already in, it's in the chapter one learning module right now. Okay. If you, yeah, if you go back into uh, the chapter one learning module, uh, you'll find it at the bottom. It's in there. Okay, thank you. All right, um, and again, I'm at 1051. So as I'm talking, if, if, if you need to leave real quick, that's fine. If you another class to go to, if and I can hang on here a couple more, more minutes if you do have any questions. And I'm still recording it. So if you have to leave, don't feel like you're missing it. I'm still recording it. But does anybody else have anything else? I know I've been doing a lot of talking. Does anybody have any, any questions, anything else that I talked about that doesn't make any sense today? Anything? Yes, I do. Um, you said we don't have to be logged on in order for us to get accounted for for attendance. Correct. We, as long as we do the work at the end of the week. So yes. no matter if I log in on a Monday or Wednesday, as long as I do that assignment, I'm accounted for for both days. You bet. Okay, gotcha. That's yep. great, thank you. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to be as flexible as I can because I know um, you could be having internet issues that I don't know of. Mm -hmm. you, you might yeah. have, a, yeah, and you know, if some of you are like me, I got kids at home um, with this hybrid learning and everybody's on virtual, um, you might have an issue with your kid, you know, so I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm assuming you log in, um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you. And if you're at a point where you got the material and uh, you, you can't get in that day, that's fine. Just make sure you get those assignments submitted and you'll still be marked as present. And so for the first week, just make sure you've all submitted that course readiness agreement in Blackboard and you're good for the week one attendance. So if you did that and then on Wednesday you had something, you, did, you couldn't make the lecture, that's fine. Just remember the lecture will still be recorded. Our, our live virtual lecture will still be recorded. I'll put it in Blackboard and you can always view it. You could view it at midnight if that's a better time for you. But I like to look at this as both synchronous and asynchronous learning. That means that there's both live learning and you know remote learning. So you don't have to actually be on to learn it. I've got everything recorded for the entire semester, everything. And so you can work ahead even except for the exams. The only thing that you got to take during the, during the exact period is that when, when you get to the exams, but we'll get to that a little bit later. It's kind of premature to be talking about exams, but I just think it's helpful that you need to know how I'm going to run the course, the format of it. Um, and so, and I know not everybody can always be here at 10 o'clock, just like if you were in person and you were coming into campus and you got sick or something happened, you had a kid, uh, you had a flat tire, it happens all the time, you know, my point is, is, you know, don't panic and think, oh, no, and now I'm not going to make the course. Don't worry about it. Um, everything's already recorded for you. And if you miss something, you know, whatever I'm doing today gets recorded. You can still view it later. All right. And hopefully that's clear. All right. All right. Does anybody else have anything? Anything for me? Any questions? All right, guys, if there's nothing, and I, I'm at 1054. Um, so hopefully you need, you know what you need to do this week. Um, and once I get used to, I, I got a new version of zoom right now that I had different from my spring. I'll get used to my view here. I'll get it, maybe change a couple settings for Wednesday's class, but hopefully you got the link, you know, what link to go to each week. Uh, and then at that point, uh, once we kind of get into a pattern here, we'll pretty much, you pretty much know what to expect. You know, the first week is always get the weird week because we're, we're learning on, on, on my, how I conduct the course. Um, I'm very flexible. I'm very open. Uh, if, if you have technology breakdowns, just let me know. Just, I think the key is just to, you know, communicate to me. Don't just assume, just, you know, if there's a question, just, just email me. Even if I've said it, still email me just to be sure. I have no problem. Just email me. I have no problem with you asking the same question over and over. Just, just ask. I'd rather you know. Uh, that way you know what you need to be doing. Okay. All right, guys, if there's nothing else, last chance for any questions for today are we all good yes sir okay yep. i know it's fast all right so guys i will see you wednesday at 10 a.m and we should be able to wrap up chapter one on a wednesday okay guys thanks all right have okay, a good thank you likewise thank you